We have a wonderful system in Canada right now, but it, it's still fairly rigid and CBME really brings with it the opportunity to uh, provide much more flexibility and, and think outside the box and really critically uh, review and make some reforms that make the experience for the resident uh, much more valuable and learner-centered. Pediatrics was one of the first programs to have an ed consultant and um, it really took hold and now almost every other program has one, but it's the marriage between my knowledge of the clinical and Mary's knowledge of assessment and educational strategies that when we marry those together has worked really well to move us forward in developing the strategies for CBME implementation. It's intentional how we're setting up the education of the residents. It's five years of their lives. They're going to come into the residency program and there are certain things that they need to become competent with. And we're going to make sure, to be fair to them, that things don't fall through the cracks. One of the hopeful benefits of CBME is that we're going to see assessment that's more frequent, but also more specific. So we're not asking for everyone to get a daily assessment of their capability as a, as a physician as a whole, which is obviously a massive topic. What we're looking for is a daily assessment that says, here's something you did really well today, keep doing that. Here's an area where you have some things to work on, and here are a couple practical tips that you might want to think about incorporating, and then we'll revisit them in a couple days when you're working with me again. And I think having that maybe smaller scale, but more frequent and focused uh, assessment is going to be really beneficial in allowing people to get a better sense of how they're doing as they progress along the, the pathway of education. What makes Queen's special is the collegial relationships that have been established between program leaders, resident groups, and educational specialists that design assessment systems that support learning for the residents, but also help us document the development of their competence and do that in a way that is feasible within the clinical context. The dashboard itself is meant to provide the residents with a snapshot of each of the stages of, of their education and the EPAs within them, along with the number of assessments they've received in each of those areas. So they, they can quickly at a glance see where there's weaknesses as far as um, number of assessments completed where they need to be able to show and prove that they're, they're competent in those areas. This is definitely um, one of the most innovative projects I've ever been able to work on. What we're doing here at Queen's is definitely leading the way um, from an innovation uh, in technology perspective. I'm really excited to be part of that. We're going to become much more proficient at self-directed learning, which is something that we are going to be doing throughout our careers in medicine. CBME will teach residents how to do that on their own and continually improve and, and it'll teach us to have insight. This transition in Canadian medical education is a really unique opportunity for learners to take ownership over their education. And initially when people hear that, they think, oh, it's gonna be more work for me. But the payoff will be so much more. For the resident who demonstrates competence very quickly, who is maybe the exceptional resident who really picks up something quickly and does very well, those residents will be able to offer them enhanced opportunities to in subspecialty areas, in research and scholarship, uh, things which will only enhance their career opportunities in the future. I think that CBME will really prepare me for practice a little bit more rigorously than the, the old way of doing things. So I think some of the advantages of CBME are that I'll have a formalized assessment of every skill that I need to know before I can transition to practice. Um, I'm also looking forward to receiving uh, more constructive feedback than I had as a medical student. I'm really looking forward to being a part of the first class.